Uh, well, back in the day, there was a gentleman called Jerome Thomas. He used to run a friendly barber shop, uh, which is still in existence. Back in that time, he had a pool room right next door to his barber shop. And we had a place on the beach called Whispering Pine. A lot of people know it as Charlie's Place. But a lot of the stars, before they became famous, used to come through Myrtle Beach. Uh, but this particular day, Marvin Gaye and some of his band members were shooting pool in Jerome, pool room. And I walked in there, wasn't supposed to be in there, but I sneak in there every now and then. And there was this coat hanging on the rack. It was a real pretty coat, the prettiest coat I ever saw in my life. So when the back was turned and the, the way was clear, I took the coat, took it home, which I live right across the street. And uh, I guess Jerome figured since I was around, being the kind of fella I was at that time, nobody had it but me. So he came and asked my mother about it. She said she hadn't seen it, which she hadn't, uh, but now we call it child abuse, but back then they called it rectifying the situation. So mother rectified the situation and I finally gave the code up. And Jerome, uh, being the gentleman he was, he gave me two or three dollars, you understand, which was a lot of money to me at that time anyway, you know. But he said he wasn't paying me for stealing, he just paid me to return the man's coat. And he wanted that coat back. Yeah, he, right? wanted, he wanted it back. <laughs> it was the prettiest thing I ever saw in my life.